Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the first problem related to numerical differentiation using Newton's backward interpolation formula. We have x and y values and we have to determine first and the second derivative at x equal to 1.5. So if you see, this 1.5 value is situated at the end of a table. So therefore, we are using here Newton's backward interpolation formula. So let me write it as, first we will construct backward difference table. So after constructing a backward difference table, we have to use a formula. So let me write it as, first will be x, first will be of x value, second will be of y value, third will be of del y. Now as it is a backward, so therefore we are using this sigma. So let me first complete a table. We will put all the values. So what are the values? We have 1, 1 1.1, 1.2. After that, 1.3, 1.4 and 1.5. We have corresponding y values which is 7.989, then 8.403, next will be 8.781, then 9.129, 9.129, after that 9.451, 9.451, and last value is 9.750. These values we have taken directly from a given data. So first is, how to find it out now this? Here, first value will be del of y, which is equal to 8.403 minus 7.989. So we will get it as 0 0.414. Similarly, next term will be 8.781 minus 8.403. So we will get this as a 0 0.378. Now if you see, we have to find it out here value of 1.5. So let me see this is x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. So here last term is of x5. Okay. So here if you see, this is your x0 term. This will be your x5 term. This will be your y0 term. This will, will be your y5 term. Now next del y will be equal to what? 9.129 minus 8.781. So we will get answer as 0 0.348. Next will be 9.451 minus 9.129. So we will get this as a 0.322. And last term will be 9.750 minus 9.451. So you will get this as 0 0.299. Now as it is a backward, so wh what is this? This will be your y5. So here you have to write this as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let me go for next column. So next column will be here if you see del square of y. So how to write this del square of y? This will be your, let me write it as del square y only. So 0.378 minus 0.414, you will get answer as z minus 0 0.036. Then again, I am writing it as a del square y. So 0.348 minus 0.378. So you will get this as a minus 0 0.03. Then this will be your again del square y so i am writing it as 0.322 minus 0.348 so this will be minus 0 0.026 again this is del square of y so 0.299 minus 0.322 you will get it as minus 0 0.023 so as it is a backward this value is moving here so here also what we have to write 5 4 3 and 2. So we got this particular term. Now let me write for next column. 
it is delta cube of y so how to do this this will be delta cube of y delta cube of y delta cube of y here you will get it will be a 5 this is 4 this is 3 so let me find it out this it will be what minus 0 0.03 minus of minus that is plus 0 0.036 so you will get 0 0.006 this will be 0 0.006 Next value, if you do it, minus 0 0.026 minus of minus 0 0.03. So you will get this answer as 0 0.004. And this will be your 0 0.003. Next is, we have to find it out, delta raised to 4. So here also you will get delta raised to 4y. Delta raised to 4y, it will be a y5. This will be of y4. So let me solve this 0 0.004 minus 0 0.006 so you will get minus 0 0.002 and this will be minus 0 0.001 okay and if you do for a last term delta raised to 5y so you will get it as delta raised to 5y will be equal to minus 0 0.001 minus of minus 0 0.002 so you will get 0 0.001. Now, let me write here formula of this dy by dx at x equal to xi. So, what is the formula here? Formula is dy by dx at x equal to xn. Now, at what point we have to determine? Here we have to determine at x equal to 1.5. So, which values we will be taking? So let me change first color so that it will be easy to uh, indicate. This will be your y5, okay? So you have to use this value, this value, this value. After that, minus 0 0.001, this value, and plus 0 0.001. So it will be what? 1 by h into bracket del of y n, here n equal to 5 plus 1 by 2 into del square y in that is y5 plus 1 by 3 del cube y5 plus 1 by 4 del raised to 4 y5 plus 1 by 5 del raised to 4 y5 what is h here h will be equal to x1 minus x0. So if you calculate h, h will be 0 0.1. So let us substitute all the values here. 0, 1 upon 0 0.1. Here if you see what is your uh, delta y5, what is your answer of delta y5? Let me see. Yes, it is 0 0.299 plus 1 by 2 into minus 0 0.023. Then minus 0 0.023 after that plus one third into 0 0.003 okay plus 1 by 4 into del raised to 4 y5 is minus 0 0.001 and plus 1 by 5 into bracket 0 0.001. So if you solve it now i will uh, write the answer directly you can solve it with the help of calculator so if we solve it we will get answer here as 2.8844 so this will be your derivative dy by dx or f dash of x when the point is x equal to 1.5 similarly we are going to write a formula for d square y upon dx square which will be equal to 1 upon h square into bracket del square y in that is del square y5 plus del cube of y in that is del cube of y5 plus 11 by 12 del raised to 4 of y5 plus 5 by 6 del raised to 5 of y5. We have a term only up to delta raised to 5 so we will take formula up to this only. So substitute 1 upon 0.1 square into bracket 
del square of y5 what is the value of del square of y5 0.023 minus 0.023 to be precise then plus 0.003 plus 11 by 12 into bracket minus 0.001 plus 5 by 6 into bracket 0.001 so if you solve it you will get answer of d square y upon dx square at x equal to 1.5 and what is that answer it will be minus 2.0083 so this is what is answer of derivative at x equal to 1.5 this is the process with the help of which we can solve a numerical of differentiation using newton's backward interpolation formula thank you for watching this video